Shalom. Call hello Allah Yahweh by Hashem Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people out there ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I'm give a shout out to the alchemists pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name of Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Also to the Israelite forms, the speckled bird, man, woman, child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst the heathen nations, as you see in this chart right here, are the nations starting from two on down. Those are all the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your sea line goes back to these tribes right here on this chart through the man. And if a spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you may look like the heathen nations to scatter amongst due to the scattering of these people on this chart. So you're going to have Israelites that look like the other heathen nations due to these tribes being scattered. But they're Israelites by blood. Okay? To the few Aquaf, which you sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, if you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth with his words going out to shall up to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, as you see on this chart right here, you combine consistent make up the two tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people, the most high Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. And um I just got a real quick you new know, article on this uh particular store that's shutting down, you know. About this uh this place called Noah's Event Center, which is basically a place I believe where you have the bride get her you know her dress, which according to the scriptures anyway according to Deuteronomy you know real quick let me get that real quick before I start it off. This shows you how bugged out the people are you know to show you uh what marriage really is anyway just you know. This is, uh, yep, this is Deuteronomy 21 and 10. When thou goes forth to war, let me put my face on the camera. All right, is that it? Mm -hmm. All right, this is Deuteronomy. Let me see. 21 and 10 says, When thou goes forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy power have delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, right? And see us among them, the captives, a captives, a beautiful woman, and has desired unto her, that thou wouldst have her to thy wife, then thou shalt bring her to, to bring her home to thine house, and she shall cleave, shave, shall shave her hair and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and be well her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go in unto her, which what what is what? It's sex, right? And be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. Okay? That is. That's true marriage. Okay? Not putting the ring on the man bowing down, okay, to the woman, which that's, okay, queen of heaven worship. Okay? That's what that goes back to. Okay? And then putting the ring on her finger. That's not That's not marriage. That's not real marriage. That's what the society tells you what marriage is. I just had to put that out there real quick to go back to the article now. Going into this closing, this particular closing, you know, it's evident that this place is going out, you know, just by the economy alone. So, um, this is, uh, let me get it. All right. It says, Noah's Event Center in Westminster is known, because it's closing all the stores, okay? But it's going to probably say it in the article, but back to what I was saying, it says, Noah's Event Center in Westminster. It's known as a place for weddings and other celebrations, but no longer. Audre Trevino sat on her sofa with tears in her eyes as she read an email confirming that the place she had booked for a wedding next month was well, actually a wedding place, I guess, or whatever. Book for, book for a wedding next month was suddenly closed permanently. 
I wanted to reach out personally and tell you how devastating this must be on your big day. Read the email from Audrey's contact at Noah's. The email informed Trevino and her fiance, Kyle Riley, that the place that had already paid they had already paid for for their wedding has been shuttered. CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger had contacted Trevino and other earlier others early in the day for reaction after getting word that the venue was closed. And he's eating mice right here. Overwhelmed, not a little, but a lot. The wedding is scheduled for next month, she said. A sign in their living room was counting down the days. The invitation with the location had already been sent. It says, it wasn't given any no I wasn't given any notice. I didn't find out when I got a call at work from you, Trevino said. We learned earlier that the staff at Noah's was let go Thursday. So they got laid off. Okay. How many weddings, other events, and now disappointments were booked are unknown. Trevino added, I'm upset. I haven't received any contact explaining what's going on. Will I get my money back? CBS4 found Noah's had filed for bankruptcy in May, May of last year. Facebook was filled with complaints from its locations around the country. Our wedding is next week, one states. We lost so much money, another reads. The email from the former Noah's employee was of little consolation to Audrey's to Audrey as she read more. If I had any idea this would occur, I would not have entrusted you to this company for, for such a special day in your life. That special day now looms with stress. Others who book wedding events at Noah's contacted CBS4 with similar stories, worries, and anger. The wedding dates vary, vary from a few days to a couple months out. Already, other events centers and the event centers are offering to step in, offering up open dates with open with hopes that what's supposed to to be one of the happiest days of people's lives turns out to be the, just that. And she's saying, "What's going on? You no, know, she gonna get her money back." And I believe I read another article on it saying that they won't get their money back. You know. A lot of a lot of businesses they'll do that, you know. They'll um file for bankruptcy, and if you invested within something within that company to file for bankruptcy, most of the time you don't get your money back. You know, I'm not saying all the time, but you know, most of the time. You know, she questioned, you know, why is what's going on, how this instantly happened. You know, this is uh Ecclesiastes twelve. 12th chapter. Let me scoop this over here. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. This is what's happening. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, which is your jobs, okay, these jobs, you know, from the highest up to the lowest down, right? Because they are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened, okay? And that's what's happening. Jobs are ceasing out here. These businesses, they not making the money that they're making. Okay? They're losing revenue. So what are they doing? They file for bankruptcy and eventually they're closing, man. Macy's is closing. One to 25 stores. Everybody's seeing that. Okay? All these bankruptcies you're starting to see that's popping up on the internet. That's what's happening. And those that look out the window be darkened. Right? Hopeless. Like it's saying there. Confused, man. Like she was. Okay? And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of grinding is low and shall rise up with the voice of the bird. And all the doors of music shall be brought low. Okay? And that's what's happening. You're seeing all these store closures. Okay? And it's to the point where you could, you know, you could go back probably, just go back equivalent like to two years. You know, you could uh, 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 ignore that this was happening. Now you can't ignore it because there's so many stores that's just closing. So much happening. Okay? You got going again, the virus and uh, all throughout China now is spread throughout over what, 23 countries, they said now? More than that, okay? Cruise ships have virus on them. So what's happening? They're shutting, this, uh, shutting you know, certain um factories and things down. So what does that mean? No produce is coming through. What does that mean? People being locked down, as I did in my other video, they're not working. So they're not making money. So that's what's, that's what's coming. You know, that's what's happening, okay? And of course you're going to be confused because one, most likely, yeah, Edomite, okay? And, um... As you saw in that picture, in that that uh that uh article I just read, which is plenty of other uh places throughout you know this country that Noah's has been set up at, but um let me get this also. This is um 
Matthew, I believe it's 24, the 24th chapter or the 12th verse. Yep, I started Matthew 24. And um 34. I started 30 verse 34 I'm using them up. It says words is small. It says, Verily I say unto you, this generation, this generation right here, we're in. Okay? Shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled. What? The prophecies that's been uh this whole chapter goes into the prophecies that's gotta play out, okay? Before the end. You know, of this, this rulership. It says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour know if no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. What that, the day that it's talking about, if you go in the, uh, ver uh, the book of Jeremiah 30, verse 7, says, I lies for that day is great, so that none is like it. It's even the time of Jacob's trouble. That's what it's talking about. Okay, what you people all are out there in the world call judgment day or doomsday. Okay, that's what it's going into. And the only one that knows when that is going to fully hit, okay, is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? Yahweh Shah, he's waiting on uh, 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 Yahweh to uh, uh, give him the green light to come and do, you know, to you know come and destroy this place. Okay? And so are we. So we're lining up the prophecies. We're lining up the events that the scriptures say or will happen or play out to show you that you were at the end. Okay? And we're close to the return of Yahweh Shah, okay? Who you actually call Jesus, by the way. But it says, but as the days of Noah, right, the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in those days that were, were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, and marrying. Like you see a couple in uh, these couple in that article, and plenty of other people that's doing that now, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark, right? And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay? So that's 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 what's about to play out. See, they thought they was going to, you know, get married, which that's not real marriage. Okay? They was um, you know, going 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 on their honeymoon, right? Then they was just gonna you know continue on with their lives, man. Nah. Okay. That's not what's going that's not what's gonna happen. Prophecy is happening right now. Okay, you're seeing the downfall of America. Okay, aka Babylon the Great, the the, the modern uh, uh uh pagan Roman Empire, man. That's what you're seeing. Okay. And um that's what they were doing. They was marrying, eating and drinking, playing on having fun, partying, okay? But now you're seeing, you know, prophecy catch up with these people. Now these people are, are questioning why this, why that, why this person died, why is this happening? Okay? Because we in the time of this destruction, man. You people have been in the house of mirth for so long, you know. Let me get that, actually. See, now we entering into, the, like, like I said earlier, these prophecies now. Because people have been denying this for so long, or people ignore it, or people just say this is it's madness, it's not going to happen. Okay. This is, uh... Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go down to the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting. They was going into the house of feasting. But that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. We are in the house of mourning right now. We got our enemies ruling over us. We are under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Okay. You know, we got to go to work like I'm at now. Okay. All these things, man. Our people bugged out. Talking about you tribes. Okay? We're in the house of mourning right now. Well, the elect is. Two-thirds of our people, they're in the same spirit as these Edomites. Or these heathens. Okay? But the heart of fools is in the house the house of mirth. They was in the house of mirth. Now the Lord shut it down. Now they, you know, they mad. Now, now they are uh, mourning. Now they wonder if they're going to get all that money that they waste. All that money they wasted. Because that's not real marriage once again. Okay? Back from that company. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, um. I'm gonna end it with this. Nope, that's not it. Yep. Real quick. This is Jeremiah. In 16 and 5, I start there. It says, For thus said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, shot enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them, for I have taken away my peace from this people, said the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, shot even loving kindness and mercy. Okay? And really, that scripture is going to our people. It's telling us not to mourn, because you're going to have, and this destruction come, you're going to have a lot of our people, okay, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, a lot of you are not going to make it. You know, some of your families, your 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 your, your women, your kids, okay, they're not gonna make it. I mean, depends on how the Lord sees fit. Okay, I can't say that. I don't know, you know. But you you could be in this truth and you're gonna have have it to where your how about Shimon Shai have you and be in the truth and your parents they'll be bugged out and they're gonna be bugged out and so he destroys them. It's not gonna be the case for all, you know, the elect the elect, but the majority of our people, according to Zechariah 13 and 8, they're going to die in this place, man. Okay? Because they're mangled up in this place just like these heathens are. Which the Lord's only for, coming back for uh, the, the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But they act, two-thirds of our people, they act like heathens right now. Okay? Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried, neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and drink. That's what the majority of our people are in. They're in the house of feasting. Okay? They're doing. They're the, they're the main ones that's doing it. Okay? They're the main ones that's doing it. Because, see, these Edomites alongside these other heathen nations, they're seeing... The destruction that's uh, uh, taking place. The only ones that's not really seeing what's going on, though, don't care to see is you, you Israelites. Majority of you Israelites. Okay? But thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. Okay? That's what's happening. Okay? The Super Bowl. You just had the Super Bowl. A lot of people, you know, they said they ain't really, you know, it ain't really feel the same, you know, as all the other Super Bowls, you know. The music is garbage, okay? Everything about this place is is, is on a low level now. Nobody really has the spirit for it. The place, you know, the Lord has caused the spirit to cease from this place. Like it says in Isaiah, the 19th chapter, okay? And so come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore have the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our power? Then shall I say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. That's talking to you tribes, man. Okay? The majority of people, that's what's going to happen. When all hell breaks loose, they're going to be like, why this? Why that? We've been explaining why. It's because you you uh, 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 you uh uh forsaken your house by Shema Shah. You put all your trust in Egypt, man, a.k.a. America, man. You put your trust in Esau, even so-called white man. Okay? So now that his system is falling, you're going to fall with it. That's why. You didn't keep his law, and commandments, okay, to the best of your ability. You chose to do what you wanted to do. So that's why it's going to happen, okay? And you have done worse than your father's feet. Behold, ye walk everyone after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not know, hearken unto me. Therefore, I will cast you out of this land to a land that ye know not. Ye know your father's, and this shall ye serve other gods day and night. Well, that's the point. That's already that's already played out. That's the predicament we're in now. That's the point. Okay? Point was made. You know? So that was it. Call Allah Yahweh Bashima Shah.
Shalom to the elect. A Baba Bo, Baba Gasha, a Baba Bo, a Baba Bo, a Baha, a Yapia, a Baha, a Yapia, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom to the elect.